We're a local nonprofit. We're an art studio that primarily works with adults with disabilities. We also serve children with and without disabilities. And the whole premise is to foster growth through creative self-expression. As a social worker, I've seen the, the power of art and have used art in my direct practice. Whereas this organization is not a therapeutic, structured therapeutic entity per se, the benefits of, of what we do here are, are, are therapeutic. It's just my artwork. And some people say, oh, I can't do art. I'm like, just try, and if you can't do it, that's okay, but just try first, and just try, try again. When I was like a little kid, I was like, I want to do art and sell it and stuff because I've seen a lot of other people doing artwork in the community, and it's like, mm, I want to do something. And it makes people happy because I do their portrait and they like it, and I think it feels good. And it's like, I did a good job. I like to do like emergency vehicles, like Clayton police cars, police officers, firemen. I um, got to go inside a police car for the first time and turn their lights and sirens. I was like, yes. When I was a little kid, I was like always into emergency vehicles because when I had a seizure, Oh, one time I hit my head and I went to the hospital. It's like, you just had a seizure. And I was in a coma for a long time. And it was just hard because some people don't know what seizures are. And it's just hard to show them what it is. And they just think I'm just moving my arm back and forth, but I'm really having a seizure. And I can't talk and tell people I can hear you when you're talking, but still, it's kind of surprising when that happens. It scares me. Everyone plays a very unique role in, in making Art is First what it is. Someone like Danny, um, he certainly brings joy. He, when he laughs, it's contagious. Um, he has a serious side to him, too, though. Here at Art is First, there are very sometimes in-depth conversations, very deep conversations, whether it be about politics or about religion. And sometimes there's very light-hearted conversations. Whether the, whatever the conversation is, is being had, there's a general underlying respect. Danny, like many of our artists, have the, his own distinct style. He has a following in St. Louis of, of folks that have purchased his artwork, collecting his artwork and can recognize his, his style. One of the things we do at Art is First is community integration. So we will host a number of art exhibits around town with the purpose of marketing and selling the artwork so that the artist gets that financial reward, financial commission. Another aspect of, of having those exhibitions in the community is that it helps to dismantle stereotypes and stigmas of people with disabilities. Many times folks will come to our show and they'll, they'll see a piece of art and then they'll meet the artist and you can see the process they're going through like, oh, oh, 